Let's see if we can make the press of a button a fun experiment. The one button game jam. You guessed it. I have to make a game with only one button and the theme is two colors. And guess what? We're going 3D for this one. And every 3D project starts with a cube and a directional light. Okay, we have a basic setup. Let's try to pixelate. And it's not working anymore. Okay, much better. Also, it's my first time trying the pixelate effect in 3D, so hopefully it's gonna go well. Let's add El Famoso button. Okay, I can see you judging my button. It's a placeholder. Come on. Also, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Let's add some juicy pulse processing to the mix. Okay, basically this is what we have right now. Time to write some code to generate some cubes, obviously from two different colors. Okay, I'm sorry, what is actually happening over there? Now would you look at that, it was working all along. Next step was to try to improve the graphics of the cubes. I mean, I tried, okay? They are just breathing cubes. Okay, let's add some details and some particles using Unity's particle system. You know you've went a tiny bit too far when your workspace kinda looks like this. You know, I just noticed something. My game is actually ugly. Let's fix this. Sometimes all you gotta do is update the colors, I guess. Let's add a tiny little cute sphere and make it th thick. I know the sphere is also breathing. You're asking yourself too many questions. Okay, let me just create a turret real quick. Using a simple look at function, I made it look at the front cube every time. Also look, you can now shoot bullets. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, okay. Maybe it has something to do with that weird red message. Oh God. Let me explain the gameplay now. If you click on the button and the color of the button matches the front cube color, it will shoot a bullet and destroy the cube. If it doesn't match the color, you just need to wait. The turret will shoot automatically. I added a score UI. This thing is actually looking like a game now. Oh god, what are you doing, beta? This doesn't even make sense. Wait, it looks thick. And it's also so easy to do. It's literally just a scale script and a rotation script. It now matches the button color. Oh yeah, and every four seconds, it actually regenerates randomly. You'll never get the same pattern. I kind of want to add an audio visualizer. Maybe if I have some time left. Let's make a game over menu and some sounds using BFXR. Also, the game gets faster over time now. Let's completely ignore the error messages and create a music using FL Studio. It took me a while, but I finally have a decent four seconds long music. The cool thing is that it's completely synchronized with the world and that feels good. Also, the audio visualizer is coming along nicely. Okay, cool. What could I do now? Oh crap, I forgot about you. <laughs> and finally, a tutorial. We are now done. The game is finished. Time to export it to each tutorial. Wait, 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 wait. Hello? My audio visualizer? What? Okay, after some research, apparently it would cost me 22 bucks to fix it for WebGL. So... I improvised and made a fake one. And here is the game. So this is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like. And if you want to see more game dev videos, consider subscribing. Until then, I'll see you next time.